once upon a time at the foot of a great mountain. It was a town where the people known as happy folk lived. Their very existence a mystery to the rest of the world, obscured as it was by great clouds. Here they played out their peaceful lives, innocent of the litany of excess and violence that was growing in the world below. To live in harmony with the spirit of the mountain called Monkey was enough. And one day, strange folk arrived in the town. They came in camouflage, hidden behind dark glasses, and no one noticed them. They only saw shadows. You see, without the trick of the eyes, the happy folk were blind. Hiding out in holes, waiting for the sunset to come. People going home, jump out from behind them and shoot them in the head. Now everybody dancing the dance of the dead, the dance of the dead, the dance of the dead. Time, the strange folk found their way into the higher reaches of the mountain, and it was there that they found the caves of unimaginable sincerity and beauty. By chance, they stumbled upon the place where all good souls come to rest. The strange folk, they coveted the jewels in these caves above all things, and soon they began to mine the mountain, its rich scene, feeling the chaos of their own world. Meanwhile, down in the town, the happy folks slept restlessly. Their dreams invaded by shadowy figures digging away at their souls. Every day, people would wake, stare at the mountain. Why was it bringing darkness into their lives? And as the strange folk climbed deeper and deeper into the mountain, holes began to appear, bringing with them a cold and bitter wind that chilled the very soul of the monkey. For the first time, the happy folk felt fearful. For they knew that soon the monkey would stir from its deep sleep. And there came a sound, distant first, that grew into a catastrophe so immense that it could be heard far away in space. There were no screams. There was no time. The mountain called Monkey had spoken. There was only fire, and then nothing. Oh, a little town of USA, the time has come to see. It's not for you to leave me alone. But where were you when it all came down to me? Did you call me now?